Elizabeth Blackwell was the first woman to attend medical school and practice medicine in the United States. She desired to provide a comforting experience for women and children. On the 23rd of January 1849, Elizabeth Blackwell became the first woman to receive a medical degree in the US. Elizabeth was born in Bristol, England on February 3, 1821, the third of nine children. Elizabeth and her siblings received a good education in England. The family emigrated to, Una to the United States in 1832. Elizabeth contributed to the family income by opening a small private school with her mother and two of her sisters. Elizabeth became interested in medicine when a friend who was dying told her, The worst part of my illness is that I am being treated by a rough, unfeeling man. At the time, there were no women doctors in the US. Elizabeth decided to study medicine. She was rejected by 29 colleges, but was finally accepted by Geneva Medical School, Geneva, New York, in 1847. Elizabeth was voted in by the student body. Many believed it was a joke, but stood by their vote when she enrolled. The young woman was ostracized by his fellow students and even her teachers refused to allow her to, medical, to attend medical demonstrations. Elizabeth was not one to give up, however, and when she graduated in 1849, she ranked first in her class. This made her the first woman in America to qualify as a doctor. Elizabeth Blackwell then moved to France to enroll in a midwifery course. While she was there, she contracted an eye infection and lost sight in one eye. Blackwell was forced to give up her plan to become a surgeon. In late 1850, Blackwell moved to London and worked under Dr. James Paget Hughes Hospital. While she was there, Blackwell became friends with Florence Nightingale and Elizabeth Garrett Anderson. Both were inspired by her success and also chose to, the, to be pioneers of women's medicine in Britain. Blackwell returned to America in 1851. She was refused works hospital and dispensary, so she resorted to private practice. That experience of discrimination prompted her to write The Laws of Life, published in 1852. In 1853, Blackwell opened a dispensary slums. Her sister, Emily Blackwell, joined her shortly after Emily also had an earned her degree in medicine. In 1857, the practitioners established an infirmary for women and children. Elizabeth Blackwell organized the Women's Central Association of Relief during the Civil War. She trained nurses for war service. Elizabeth, along with Emily and Mary Livermore, played important parts in developing the United States Sanitary Commission. Shortly following the war, the sisters established the Women's Medical College in New York. Blackwell served as the professor of hygiene until 1869 when, the, when she moved to London to help from the National Health Society and London School of Medicine for Women. Medical activist Elizabeth Garrett Anderson invited Blackwell to become a professor of gynecology at the London School of Medicine in 1875. She held this post until she suffered a serious fall in 1907. Elizabeth Blackwell died in Hastings, Sussex, on May 31, 1910. She was 89 years old. She never married. Dr. Blackwell was responsible for opening a whole new world to women.